you know people have such short memories just a few months ago you couldn't go into a grocery store now everyone's worried about getting back to work going to weddings life going back to normal everyone needs to get a glimpse of reality and realize what's in store for the future what kind of crazy crap are they going to force the sheeple into in what appears to be a live simulation it really does feel like we're in the matrix imagine this they turn off the water power heat government swoops in to save us with camps set up save the people with basic needs but they say you have to get injected to come in the camp yeah not out of the realm of possibilities with what's going on right now and by no means am i trying to be too pessimistic but guys things are just getting crazier and crazier and crazier and it seems like they're trying to give us a glimpse of things going back to normal but i wouldn't believe that for a second and and by no means am i a survival expert here uh, but i'm going to suggest some things that i would stock up on under the current conditions and food is probably the first thing that comes to people's minds and it's actually not that important as the average person can probably go two to three months without food easily based on their fat stores many even longer than that you know i might do a video we should get fat you know just in case something happens i did make a video around a month ago about the 10 most nutritious survival pantry foods that covers the calorically dense high vitamin and mineral options at your local grocery store the importance of pantry foods things that are non-perishable as in this hypothetical scenario the power goes out you can't refrigerate freeze or cook food so you can stock up on those foods you know sweetened condensed milk chocolate bars dried fruit are some of my favorite options and we just came out with the warrior bar on frankie's free range meat for that specific reason and we'll probably have a few more flavors for you guys in the near future the main problem with survival foods is getting enough affordable protein and even the cheapest whey protein is going to run you eight to ten dollars a pound but I've never really looked into from a survival perspective, you know, what the minimal amount of protein is per day for neurological function. I mean, I'm sure like sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, all those products would be adequate for survival. You know, it's not like you need to stock up on whey protein like a bodybuilder. And keep in mind, you're not necessarily stocking up on three to four months worth of food. You know, in an actual survival scenario, three to four months of normal meals can probably be stretched over a year maybe even longer you know granted you lose a lot of weight and be pretty sedentary you know not moving all day the goal is survival not to work out every day you know crocodiles for instance they eat once a year and then they just hang out in the lake until you know the animals migrate through again uh, more important than food is water if they turn off the water supply or your current source stops I suggest stocking up on whatever highest quality water you can afford is and most people are probably drinking poor quality water you know with all the crap they're spraying in the air that's going in the water table call up a company that sells glass bottled water and see how much it costs to have a pallet dropped in your garage you might spend like fifteen hundred twenty five hundred dollars on a bunch of water bottles but that's over a year of high quality water regardless and i'd rather be safe than sorry of course you can get plastic bottled water or even your own well water for much cheaper if you decide to fill stuff up yourself you know really depends on how much effort you want to put in and what you have access to you know get some food safe drums drive over to a local well or a spring and pack a few of them into a truck you know it would save you hundreds of dollars for a few hours of your time but not everyone has the ability to do that. You know, I'm sure if you went to buy some food safe drums, rented a truck, drove out somewhere, you'd end up spending as much as having a pallet of water dropped in your garage. But what use is food and water if we're getting fried like chickens by Wi-Fi radiation? Did you know one side effect of radiation poisoning is vomiting and nausea? Maybe you won't even be able to keep your food or water down. The new LED lamp and cellular tower infrastructure is not as described. We haven't had lights on streets for dozens of years and the current cell structure is adequate. Everyone has internet and a cell phone. So why does every square mile of the US have one of these new towers? 
because it's weaponry. It is military weaponry to control and surveil the population. They can harm you, your children, your animals, beef cattle on a farm at any point in time they want. The sheeple are too foolish to realize what's happening and the influencers in power on social media are all in on it. The way to protect yourself is to go to Home Depot and buy metal, or not Home Depot, go somewhere, hardware store, scrapyard, get some metal, buy aluminum mesh sheeting for window screens, buy whatever cheap metal sheets you have, lead paint if you can find it. I'm going to try to get some anti-radiation fabric for you guys that's affordable. If they turn these towers on, you're going to have to encase yourself in metal or get into a cellar or some type of structure built with cement or cinder blocks. You know, crawl space garage might be suitable for some people. So now you're stuck in your basement drinking Pellegrino and eating chocolate. Not that Pellegrino is a good source of water. It actually has fluoride in it. That's just my Italian example. What else would you possibly need? Heat, shelter, lights, perhaps self-defense, something to do. If you have a fireplace, you know, I guess wood is a reasonable option. And for survival, I do think they sell some type of heating elements that you can buy a bunch of. I would get a sleeping bag that's rated for very low temperatures, like negative 30 degrees. And those are pretty warm when you're all bundled up. Of course, you need to see, so, you know, get a bunch of flashlights, batteries, maybe some candles. And hey, maybe we could even do a lantern with some beef tallow. That's up to you guys. Do it uh, Eskimo style. Uh, some of you might be suggesting like guns or weapons, but at this point I'm not even sure you can get a gun. You know, most places are sold out of both guns and ammunition. And as important as it is to protect yourself and your family, I doubt the government would let lone wolves not participate in their new world bullshit. You know, there's definitely a part of this like, they're just going to go around and gather up anyone that has supplies. We actually saw a little glimpse of this. Um, in the panic a couple months back, anyone who had stocks of certain things, they just went in and took it. Who's to say they're not gonna do that to farmers with their food? You know, it's, it's very possible that's going to happen. I really wanna emphasize that point. I think if shit hits the fan again, and you do have a stock of stuff, they're literally gonna come in and take it. I think what I'm suggesting here is more relevant to not having to participate in the nonsense if shit does hit the fan. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone wants to be in a cellar reading books for months straight. Uh, but, you know, hypothetically, the same thing happens. You don't have to go out, worry about getting food, worry about getting water, worry about getting supplies. Uh, and, you know, everything just seems to be getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Who knows when they're going to hit the full switch? You know, regardless of whether you use this stuff now or a year or two or three or five or ten from now, it's going to happen. They're going to do it again, and they're going to do it on a large scale, and they're going to create a lot of chaos. We just don't know exactly when. Uh, we did speak about a project a few months ago uh, where they might go around and eliminate all the intelligent people. And this happened in the past in Russia, supposedly. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to say when that was. You know, the government has been gathering everyone's information, data, through all of these social media sources, especially Facebook. So they have a list of millions of people who oppose mainstream ideas. You know, if you follow any opposition channels, and there are agents that specifically do this, they come onto the scene and they tell some truth, so you say their name, so you talk about them on social media, and then when you know the government sees you mention that person's name, they put you down on a list. And it, it would be way too easy for them to stage a blackout and gather up all of these people uh, if you want to learn more about that, I'm not going to sit here and explain it for five minutes. I'll just link the video at the end here. You can watch it. Uh, but it definitely seems like, you know, things are really turning for the worse. Every, everyone just has too much inherent human selfishness and, uh, you know, what they want. I mean, the only reason, you know, I'm still on YouTube and I still have this channel and I still talk about this stuff is because I genuinely don't care. Like, the only reason I'm still here is because I want to help other people find their health and get better and that's why out of all these other influencers on YouTube I'm um, the only person really talking about this stuff uh, so hopefully this video helps you guys out um, I personally have some aluminum I'm gonna order some more water uh, I gotta I think I'm gonna get some more aluminum as well 
Uh, I do have to get some food stock, but I mean, we're probably gonna have like a bunch of warrior bars just on stock at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Again, guys, if stuff gets really crazy, unless you're out in the middle of the woods with your own bunker, and even then, I have a feeling the government's gonna come take your stuff, so. Whatever. Let's see how things go. Let's see if the carnivores copy this video. I doubt it.